essential 3D concepts and tools. Essential 3D concepts and tools. Not here, please. In Photoshop CS6, 3D fun functionality was part of Photoshop Extended, by the way. And all features in Photoshop Extended are part of Photoshop. And Photoshop doesn't have a separate extended offering, by the way. That's great. And what about understand and display 3D files? Understand and display 3D files. By the way, Photoshop lets you position and animate 3D models, and edit textures and lighting, and choose from several render modes. And what about 3D fundamentals? 3D fundamentals is meaning 3D, fi 3D files consist of the following components. We have many components here now. The first component, meshes. So what about meshes? Meshes is meaning that provide the underlying structure of a 3D model, and the mesh is often Visualize it as a wireframe and a skeletal structure built from thousands of individual polygons. And a 3D model, by the way, always has at least one mesh and may combine multiple meshes. And in Photoshop, by the way, you can you can view meshes in a variety of a render modes and manipulate meshes independently of each other. And while you can't alter alter the actual polygons by the way in a mesh. By the way, you can change its orientation and transform it by scrolling along different axes. And by the way, you can also create your own 3D meshes and using pre sublight it shapes or by converting existing 2D layers. And you should to see 3D mesh setting if you'd like that. And not here and be careful, please. To edit the polygon mesh of the 3D model itself, you must use, by the way, a 3D Azuring program. And what about materials? What about materials? Material is meaning that a mesh can have one or more materials associated with that and which control the appearance of all of or part of the mesh. The material, by the way, is in turn relies on subcomponents called texture maps with cumulative effect creates the appearance of a material. And the texture map itself is a 2D image file that creates that creates various qualities such as color and pattern and shininess and shininess or bumpiness. And a Photoshop, by the way, material can use can use up to nine different texture map types to define its overall overall appearance. And you should to see 3D materials setting also. And what about lights? What's the meaning of lights? Lights, by the way, type types include infinite and spot and point lights as well as image and based lights that wrap around a skin. And you can also move and adjust color and intensity of existing lights and add new lights to your 3D skin. You should to see 3D lights sitting by the way. How to open? How to open a 3D file? If you'd like to open a 3D file, what should you do? By the way, Photoshop can open the following 3D formats. DEE, Collada, or OBG, or 3DS, or U3D, or and KMZ, Google Earth. And you should do one of the following again. To open a 3D file, by the way, on its own, you should choose file firstly, then you choose open, then select the file. And after that, to add a 3D file as a layer in an open file, you should choose 3D firstly, then choose new layer from 3D file, and then select the 3D file, and the new layer reflects the dimensions of the open file and presents the 3D model over a transparent background. And what about 3D performance and display preferences? 3D performance and display preferences. We have two steps. Step number one. So to choose edit firstly, then you choose preferences, then select 3D if you use Windows or Photoshop, then select preferences 3D if you use Mac OS. Step number two, for information about options, however, the pointer over them and read the description section at the bottom of the dialog box. And what about 3D object and camera tools? 3D object and camera tools. By the way, the 3D object and camera tools become active when a 3D layer is selected. And you can't use the 3D object with the tools, by the way, to change the position or scale of a 3D model. And you can't use the 3D camera tools to change the view of the skin.
and if your system supports by the way OpenGL and you can also use the 3D axis to manipulate 3D models and cameras and also should to see 3D axis and 3D axis yeah and how to move and rotate or scale a model with 3D object tools how to move and rotate or scale a model with 3D object tools by the way you can use the 3D object tools to rotate and, re and reposition or scale a model while you manip manipulate the 3D model the camera view remains fixed and by the way for tips about each 3D tool you can to choose panel options from the information panel menu and then select show tool hands uh, and then click a tool then move the cursor into the image window to view tool details in the info panel like the next screenshot this image now explain for you 3d object tools and options and the yes, meaning return to initial object position and b rotate and c roll and d pan and each slide and f scale and g position menu and h save current position and i delete current position and g position coordinates that's fine and by the way in the tools panel you should to click a 3d object tool and hold down the mouse button to select from the following types hold down shift as you drag to constrain the rotate or pan or slide or scale tool to a single direction of movement and we have options what about rotate rotate is meaning that you should drag up or down to rotate the model around its x axis or side to side or side to side to rotate it around its y axis and to hold down alt if use windows or option if use mac os as you drag to roll the model so what about the roll roll is meaning that drag side to side to rotate the model around its s z axis and what about ban ban is meaning drag side to side to move the model horizontally or up or down to move it vertically and hold down alt if you use windows or option click if you use mac os and as you drag to move him the x and z direction and what about the slide a slide is meaning that you should drag side to side to move the model horizontally or up or down to move it closer or further away and hold down alt if you use windows or option if you use mac os as you drag to move him the x and y direction and what about the scale a scale is meaning that drag up or down to scale the model larger or smaller and hold down alt if you use windows or option if you use mac os as you drag to scale in the z direction and also should to click the return to initial position icon in the options bar to return the model to its initial view and to numerically to numerically adjust the position and rotation or scaling should to enter values on the right side to of the options bar that's great and what about move the 3d camera how to move the 3d camera by the way you can use the 3d camera tools to move the camera view while leaving the position of the 3d object fixed and also for tips about each 3d tool and also for tips about each 3d tool you can choose also panel options from the information panel menu and then select show tool enhance and then click a tool then move the cursor into the image window to view tool details in the information panel like the next screenshot this image looks explain for you 3d camera tools and options and yes meaning return to initial camera position and the b rotate and the c roll and d pen and e walk and f zoom and g is meaning view menu and h is meaning save current camera view and i is meaning delete current camera view and g is meaning camera position coordinates and so what about i'm so sorry and in the tools panel you should to click a 3d camera tool firstly and hold down the mouse button to select from the following types hold down shift as you drag to constrain the rotate and pan or walk tools to a single direction of movement and what about rotate again again what about rotate it's meaning drag to orbit the camera in the x or y direction and hold down alt if you use windows or option if you use mac os as you drag to roll the camera and what about to roll again roll is meaning drag to roll the camera and what about pan pan is meaning drag to pan the camera in the x or y direction and hold down if alt if you use windows 
Rupture fuse my coils. As you direct to pin in the X or Z direction, by the way. And what about walk? Walk explain exactly. You should direct to walk the camera, Z translation and Y rotation. And you hold down Alt fuse windows, or Rupture fuse my coils. And you direct to walk in the Z and X direction, by the way. And Z is meaning translation and X rotation. So what about zoom? Zoom is meaning that direct to change the field of view of the 3D camera and the maximum field by the way of view is 180. And what about perspective camera zoom only? Perspective camera zoom only is meaning displays parallel lines converge, converging to vanishing points. And what about orthographic? Orthographic, orthographic is meaning orthographic camera zoom only is meaning maintains parallel lines without conver convergence displays the model in accurate scale view without any perspective distortion and what about DOF zoom only DOF DOF zoom only is meaning sets deep dips of field distance determines how far the in focus field is from the camera and the blur Obsecures the remainder of the image. And by the way, animate DOF to simulate camera focusing effects. And in the options bar, numeric values show the X and Y and the Z position of the 3D camera. And you can also, by the way, edit these values manually to adjust the camera view. So, what about a change or create 3D camera? How to change or, or, or create 3D camera views? How to change or create 3D camera views? You should to do one of the following. If you'd like to change or create 3D camera views, you should to do, do one of the following. You should to select a preset camera view of the model from the view menu firstly. And watch here please. All preset camera by the way views use orthographic projection. And to add a custom view, you should to place the 3D camera in the desired position using the 3D camera tools and then click save in the options bar. And by the way, to return the default to sorry, by the way, to, to, to return to the default camera view, you should to select a 3D camera tool firstly and then click the return to, 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 to initial camera position icon in the options bar. So, what about 3D axis? 3D axis is meaning that. The 3D axis, by the way, shows the current X and Y and Z axis orientation of models and the cameras and the lights and the meshes in 3D space. And it appears, by the way, when you select any 3D tool, providing an alternative way to, uh, way to manipulate the selected item. Like the next image and next screenshot. Explain for you 3D axis with mesh rotate tool selected. AS meaning select a tool and B minimize or maximize 3D axis and C is meaning move item along axis and D rotate item and E compress or elongate item and F is meaning resize item and note here please OpenGL must be enabled to display the 3D axis by the way and what about show or hide the 3D axis show or hide the 3D axis you should to choose view firstly, then select show, then select 3D axis. And what about minimize? How to minimize and restore and move or resize the 3D axis? How to minimize or restore or move or resize the 3D axis? We have steps. Step number one. You should move the pointer over the 3D axis to display the control bar firstly. And step number two. Do one of the following. To move the 3D axis, you should to drag the control bar firstly. And after that, to minimize, you should to click the minimize icon. After that, to, to, to restore to normal size, you should to click the minimize it 3D axis. After that, to resize and drag the zoom icon. How to move and rotate or scale selected items with the 3D axis. By the way, to use the 3D axis, you should to move the mouse pointer over an axis control to highlight it and then drag as follows. Not here, please. By the way, available access controls vary depending upon the current editing mode, like object or camera or mesh or light. And to move the selected item along the X and Y or Z axis, by the way, highlight the conical tab of any axis should to drag in either direction along the axis. After that, to rotate the item, 
Should to click the curve rotation segment just inside an axis step, and a yellow circle by the way appears showing the rotation plan. And should to drag in a clockwise or or counter clockwise circle around the 3D axis center by the way, and to rotate more gradually, you should to move the mouse further away from the center of the 3D axis. After that, to resize the item, you should to drag center cube in the 3D axis up or down. After that, to compress or elongate the item along an axis, you should to drag one of the colored transform cubes either toward or away from the center cube. After that, to constrain movement to an object plan, you should to move the mouse pointer into the area where two axes intersect near the center cube, and the yellow plan by the way icon appears between two axes, and you should to drag in any direction, and you can also move by the way the pointer over the lower part of the center cube to activate the plan icon. Thank you so much.